what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Miss BD Live, Coach Tasha, Tasha Mack. Tasha Kyle's on a good day, but not Tasha K. How y'all doing today? I'm back with another video. What's up, y'all? So I'm coming to y'all with this good old video. Y'all, we got us another Carisha Please interview, baby. Carisha coming coming back to back with these interviews. She's starting to do once a week, look like. I'm proud of her. Go ahead, Carisha. Now, let's get into this interview E. Lord, my child, my God today, sweetie, uh-uh, y'all, this was the most boringest interview that I had seen in my life, my God today, Jesus, it was, it was like watching paint dry, it was like watching a girl get healed from a BBL, it was, it was cringing, I was like, oh my goodness, okay, of course, let's get into this video real quick, and my thoughts of Sweetie interview with Carisha, please. So before we get into the video, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. We are almost there, y'all. We working on, we almost to 600, y'all. I am so thankful for everybody who has subscribed. Man, I appreciate you guys so much for the love. And please comment, like, and subscribe on the video so you have a chance to win this $100. Okay, so back to the video. So, of course, you know, they brought the video in of Miami was asking Carisha. They brought the, so the video began with Carisha asking Sweetie about her new album and her new song. So, Carisha was talking about pretty much asking her about Rolling Loud. Um, she asked her about her new song, Don't Say Nothing. And I pretty much was just talking about a scenario. She's talking about how she's dating men and she don't want really want them to just go and say nothing unless they exclusives and all of that. So also she was talking about her new album, Pretty Bitch Music. I just don't like the fact that everything that she does, she has to put pretty in front of it. Man, we know you pretty. We can look at you and tell that you pretty. We don't need you to tell us that every five minutes on every song. My God, today. So she talked about her heartbreak with Quavo, y'all. She talked about how she was in love with him and she thought that he was the one. And I, I'm just saying that Cash was looking good. That Cash thought that Cash was the one. She thought she was going to be a Cardi B, baby. She thought she was going to get her offset, baby, period. You know what I'm saying? One of the Migos. And then, you know what I'm saying? She was talking about, I think that song that she talking about, Don't Say Nothing, she trying to make it seem like it's little baby and that he was talking. I don't, I don't know. It just, it, it, you got to listen to the song and see. And Carisha asked her about the little baby situation and she just kind of didn't answer the questions directly, but she was just kind of saying a little stuff or whatever. She said, I don't shop and tell because Miami asked her, did she get a, a $100,000 bag from him? And she was like, I don't shop and tell. Side point, she was acting like, baby, when I tell you, sweetie was talking like she was a pimp from California. You damn sure, she damn sure act like she from the Bay Area, baby. She was rhyming every time she said something. I said, God damn. Okay, girl, my bad shit, okay. But then she had bought Carisha a Chanel bag, and she said she chanel her out, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was a little playoff of what was going on with the Chanel thing with Lil Baby, I think. And Carisha asked her about Quavo, you know what I'm saying? about Quavo taking the car back. And she also asked her about the elevator situation. She asked her, like, what is in, what was in the uh, bag or whatever. And I, from what I gathered, she was saying it was like some money up in there and he was trying to take it or whatever. It wasn't like an actual Call of Duty game. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? She, of course, asked her a couple of questions about like you know her mu music and stuff and how uh, Miami was just pretty much telling her like she how she admired her and all this stuff and she was also sweetie was just pretty much talking about how she want to focus on her music more putting her music out there and not doing so many campaigns because y'all know she the queen rap queen the uh, campaigns baby she be on everything from McDonald's to swimsuits to to Uber anything she is sweetie name and faces on it baby I will give her that she is a brand Branding strategy. Her team has branded the shit out of her. Do you hear me? Now we ain't heard too much of her raps and stuff, and we hear her little collabs here and there. And she she know how to get on some hot stuff. But yeah, I want to see what this album is giving. I want to see if it's giving pretty girl rap as she you know keep 
advertising out there. You know what I'm saying? But um, Miami was pretty much, you know, again, trying to give her props and stuff like that. Um, it did sound a little rehearsed. They both was like, okay, when you say this, I'm going to say that, you know, type of thing. That's the feel I got. It wasn't like, I didn't feel like it was a genuine interview like the other ones that I seen. Like she was cool. You know, you could tell she had a, a relationship with Megan. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it, it was a different vibe or whatever. They talked about, you know, getting BBLs and stuff like that. And, you know, just other conversations about is she a freak or not. And again, this was a boring interview. Sweetie was not giving up too much of nothing. She was not. She was just sitting there looking pretty. I guess that's what you do when you're a pretty girl. I, 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 I don't know. You know, I will say that Sweetie is listening to the uh, the people out there, to the blogs and the people, because she was definitely sending out keywords like she's been listening to Twitter and just the fans period so we're gonna see what comes um we're gonna see what comes next for miss sweetie you know what i'm saying she says she's single and she's been single for a while so we're gonna see if she gonna pop out with somebody here soon you know after this interview or whatever so y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments but she did good again for the most part i love her vibe and she was you know she was she was carisha please honey so, but I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. My little review on it is literally, Carisha, please. Carisha, please. Something else. So, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. I thank y'all so much for watching. Again, we on the road to 1K. Y'all subscribe so y'all can win that $100. I love you guys so much for watching. Peace out.